Somondi, a student in Kionyo, a proper student. What makes Kionyo unique, I think, is about the weekend programs. When uh, the weekend program, when the teacher is not in class, we have the subject ambassadors. You find when it's English, a subject ambassador stands in front, and we do something meaningful. After that, you can find the English teacher compensating that lesson, at least in the evening preps, around when we study from 6.30 to 10 p.m. I think that makes, another thing that makes Kionyo unique is about the, this issue of, we always participate in the co-curriculum activities. At least we beat, every school, we beat them on the field and we beat them in books. At least you can find any class in this school, each form has its motto. And motto guided by the mean, which we are working upon it very hard. We are setting targets that we must achieve it. We set our targets after achieving, we set another target. I think that makes Yonyo very unique. We have less time. We minimize the time to be outside. That's why we maximize the time of students in, with his books, with the contact in his books. That's why you find uh, le we have less time outside so that we can maximize the time with books in order to achieve our goals and targets. That thing, I think another thing, we have very supportive staff and subordinate staff. The staff, I think you, if you go to compensation, they can't deny. They will, they will always accept you. Boarding facilities, I think we have a very conducive environment in this school. I think that's what makes Kionyo very unique in this Korea region. Thank you. Talk of the syllabus. I think. Did you speak about it? No. Just About the syllabus. The syllabus, what I can add. We always complete the syllabus in time, and uh, after completion, when we start off revising, we go through them, and this makes the, the learners, students, rem remind himself of what he have passed. Again, if the syllabus fails to be covered, I think we minimize the time. Around the weekends, the teacher who has not covered the syllabus comes in the weekend and we try to, to complete the syllabus in time. That's why we find this school very unique. At least we have we can say Kionyo is a place to be. You tell me what it is, eh? Now then you start with Take a time to think about it. From there, you tell me what the matrix represents. It is one, zero, zero, one. As I told you before, you use the unit word. This square. The unit square will be able to guide you and tell you what matrix. What is the negative word? Or, write that this can be. Enlargement center 0, 0, scale factor negative 1. Or, it can also be something else, eh? Yes. yes? Rotation about 0, 0. That is true. The relative matrix represents. Kwa majina naitwa Mary Adhiambo kutoka shule ya upili ya Kionyo. Niko katika kidato cha nne. Kwa hii shule yetu tunajivunia sana kujipata katika shule ya Kionyo. Kwa maana wanafunzi wengi wanapendwa wanapendekezwa na jinsi tunavyofanikiwa katika masomo. Hii shule yetu kuna vitu mbalimbali mbali ambazo zinaendelea. Kwa mfano ukifika wakati wa saa 12 na nusu hadi saa 10 na saa, saa moja hapo nusu tuko na kipindi cha Kiingereza ambao kwa kwa Kiingereza tunaliita English Summit. Pia kila siku lazima kuwe na somo la hisabati kutokea hapo saa moja na nusu hivi hadi saa mbili. Lazima ufanye hisabati kidogo ambalo linaitwa Math for Supper. Kupitia hapo 
Katika ya shule, mwalimu mkuu ametuwekea slogan, class slogan, kama sisi kidato cha wana kidato cha nne, yetu ni beacons of hope. Na tunapendekezwa na hilo. Na pia tuna, tunajifunia sana katika masomo jinsi tunavyoendelea. Hapa kuna city wakati kidogo uko nje, wakati mwingine unarukaruka pale nje. Hilo hapana. Pia wakati wa weekend tunakanga darasani, kazi ni kusoma. Si tunakaa huko kiwanjani, tunacheza mara tunajishughuliza na kazi zingine. Bali hizo haiko kwa hiyo. Jina ni Mwalimu Seria Yusuf, mwalimu wa somo la Kiingereza hapa Kionyo. Kiingereza pamoja na literature. Pia ningependa kusema vitu chache kuhusu ili darasa letu la form 4 Kionyo School. Kwanza kabisa tuko na target yetu mwaka huu. Ukiangalia mwaka uliopita tulifanya vyema kabisa na huu mwaka tumeset target yetu kuwa 7.0. Target hiyo tunatarajia kuifikia kwa sababu tunaenda kuanza kwa mambo yafuatayo. Number 1 Silabasi yetu tunatarajia kuikava by mwezi wa ine. Tunatarajia tuwe tumemaliza silabas. Kwa hivyo hapa kionyo, silabasi yetu lazima tuimalize mapema ndo kila kitu iweze kutuendea vizuri. Minsko zenye uwa tunapata ni kwa ajili ya bidi zetu. Bidi ndo kila kitu. Hata wanafunzi wetu watakwambia always hard work pays. Hakuna kitu ingine chenye kineza lipa kama CBD. So BD yetu binaweza tufikisha si umu tunatarget hiyo mean. And we are promising by the end of this year, lazima tupate hiyo mean score yetu. Vile vile, kando na hiyo target yenye tumeset, kila mwanafunzi akona azimio lake. Kila mwanafunzi ameset target yake kuwa mtiani wa kwanza, lazima tufikisha hiyo mean. Kwa mfano, muhula huu, Tuko na target tusha set na tunatarajia kila mwanafunzi atie bidindo tuweze kupata hiyo target yetu. Kila mwanafunzi, ukifuatilia wanafunzi wetu wa kwanza, for example, yule mwenye uwa na top, tumemuwekea na wengine wenzake, tumesema lazima mwanafunzi wa kwanza afikishe an airplane. Wondo mtiani wa kwanza wenye tumeanza kutarget muhula huu. Pia hapa kiunyu, maumbi ya natusaidia sana. Maombi tumegundua kuwa ndo siri ya kupita. Bila maombi hatuwezi ingia popote. Discipline kwa wanafunzi wetu pia inachangia sana. Matokeo ya kionyo mazuri ni juye. Ni juu ya discipline yenye wanafunzi wetu wakonayo. Kwa hivo, mtu ya yote mwenye natusikiza hapa. Discipline wanafunzi wako awe nayo theni tarajia matokeo mazuri mwishoni. Wanafunzi wetu watakuambia Kuna vitu mingi sana tunasema. Slogan ya kionyo, for example. Tukikwambia hapa, moto yetu munaifamu. Yes. Inasemaje? We are the beacons of hope. Thank you. We are the beacons of hope. Na hiyo, inatufanya tuazimie target ilio juu sana. Kwa hivyo kionyo, the form for 2024, iyo ndo moto yetu, we are the beacons of, of hope. Na tunatarajia kila kitu itakuwa salama mwaka huu. Kwa hivyo, kindly kama uko na mwanafunzi yote, leta kiunyu, tunakuambia mambo yote ni salama. Salama kabisa. Shule yote tuko na moto wetu. Na hiyo moto wetu unaanza kwa kusema excellent. Inaanza kwa kusema? Excellent. Ni malizie tafadhali. Aha. Iyo ndo kionyo yetu na tunashukuru sana. Mm. 
Asante sana kwa majina naitwa Ochin Collins. Ochin Collins ni principal wa Kionyo Secondary School since 2015. I think uh, we came to this school and uh, when I came I found two teachers the deputy and uh, another teacher who had been just transferred to this school. Badai, deputy alitoka, akapewa promotion, kuelekea upande wa kisumu. Uh, tukabaki walimu wawili. When we came to this school, the school had a mean of 1.8, and it was the last school, number 271, out of 271 schools, secondary schools, which had done exams at that year, it was a tall order. We didn't even have classrooms. There were only two classrooms which were unfinished. One which was serving for the Form 4, another one was serving as a Form 3 class. It was very painful that that morning when I arrived, Form 1s were learning under tree, and there were only form, four Form 1s in this school. I think at first I rejected coming to this school. Form 2s were in the primary section. So, Kanisa ikatu kubalia tukapereka Form 1 kwa hiyo Kanisa. It was an old church which since then has been pulled down, but it was a very dusty place. So when I came here, I knew there were two things that we, three things that we had to put right. One was to work on the infrastructure of the school. Number two, we were supposed to work on the teacher availability in the school. And number three, the academic standards were very deplorable. So we knew we were not going to have it a very nice day. Uh, the first thing we did, I was supposed to meet these teachers whom I found here. Most of them were BOG teachers. I was shocked that uh, when I even requested uh, for 15,000 shillings so that we can have a, a serious meeting with my teachers. Uh, it was not very easy. And that 15,000, we go to the so that we can have a nice appropriate time to talk to the teachers so that we could work on the problems that there are, there were in the school. In short, we met and we did agree after identifying some of the problems of the school. We came back, we worked. The following year, I think we had improved and uh, we overtook 30 schools. From a mean of 1.8 to a mean of 2.3, I think that one was no mean achievement. But I, to Kasema Yakomba, that is not the end of it all. We realized that even though the school was registered, it was not registered by the TSC. So getting teachers was another hard problem. We worked with the board, then we got teachers, and as we are talking, at least the school has 11 teachers. But that was just like a drop in the ocean. Because 11 TSC teachers against a population which is now going towards 600, God has really blessed us. We have been moving because each and every year we have been having an improved result. At first we could not even take a single student to the university. Then later on, uh, in 2017, we managed to take one. Then we went to four, the number rose to 11, the number rose to 19, and today we are happy that we can take up to 26 that you people actually had. 
uh, it is true we are moved from a mean of 1.8 to a mean of 5.8 slightly below our target we had a slogan with the class of last year that in 2023 mean 6.00 is possible but I feel we are satisfied with a mean of 5.8. We are going this time to a mean of 7, and that is the slogan of the class, that mean 7.00 is possible. We are targeting to have an increased population we think we will want to put this school to a population of 800 by 2025. And that's where we are going. And by 2025, we are looking at a mean of 8. And we are seriously sure. If you go and talk to the Form 2s today, they will tell you that mean 8.00 is actually possible. We have a few challenges here and there. Uh, but we don't fear challenges. Kwanza ukiangalia sahi, our population of the Form 1 has reached 230 against two streams and 11 teachers. There is no class which is below 100. All the classes are above 100. But when I came here, for instance, the Form 1s were 4 and the Form 3 were only 11. Nine boys and two girls. So I want to recognize that this school is one of the fastest growing schools in Kule East. It has a good will of the board, it has a good will of the community. We will get good population, but we also need to, uh, to have a good population in the teaching force. We are appealing to all the stakeholders to help us in this area so that we might have an increased number of students. Number of teachers, that is. We are also appealing to the stakeholders to see that the infrastructure is not overwhelmed. Our infrastructure is actually crying. If you go to all these classes, we only thank God that the initial planners knew that this school was destined for growth. The classes are big enough. But those big enough classrooms are now overstretched. We are the only school that has uh, started computer lessons in this region. Probably if you leave big schools like Isibania and Taranganya. The only school that started computer and has presented students for exams with very meager resources is Kionyu. We are also appealing to people outside there that when you come to Kionyu, you will have something to donate because you will just love the way we are working with our stretched resources. We don't have enough computers, so we are restricting the number of students that are doing computers because of lack of it. But as you will realize, the modern world is a world of technology, and that is the way to go. We are also happy that even the nearby schools have also been influenced. They have also realized that we are moving to a global village. We are thankful that uh, we have managed to build up to date. Uh, since then, we have managed to build six more classrooms on top of the two classrooms that we found. We have also seen another laboratory coming up, sponsored by the World Bank. But uh, we are requesting that uh, the building of that laboratory should continue. It has stopped for the last one year, and uh, we are seeing it is becoming dilapidated again before it has come to fruition, and the money that has been put there is a lot. As a school, we don't have a library. And as we are talking about a library, we are not just talking about a library of books. We are talking of a library that is modern, where students will go and do their uh, search 
because now we are talking of content creation. When you are talking of content creation, there's a lot of content that has been created, but our students are denied the opportunity. If we can have a computer laboratory, just the way we are thinking of how, the way we have started having a computer uh, uh, lab, lab, we request that if we can get a library that you can house computers and house books, uh, that one would make the modern uh, child feel modern in the studies. The next challenge we have is that this is basically a poor community. The fee payment is terribly low. We are struggling with the students, we are sending them home, they come, then you see you have sent a student home too much, so we are appealing to those who can help in making sure that uh, we don't have lapses in our learning to come up. We want to thank our various stakeholders for whatever they have done. We want to thank our teachers because I think that is uh, one of the strengths that the school has. Our teachers are dedicated. There are teachers who are ready to go extra mile. There are teachers who are ready to think beyond the box. I believe as we are talking, we have some of the most unique programs even far and beyond, because I've never heard of anything called English Summit or Language Summit in all these schools. I've never heard of something called Maths for Supper. I've never heard of uh, many programs that the school has actually started in the name of... If, we also have even what is called academic villages, where a teacher, a parent, and a group of students can just bring storm about academic challenges and come up with appropriate solutions. So those programs are coming because teachers are out to make sure that students get the best and have the highest student-teacher contact. Otherwise, I want to be very thankful to our media house that has visited us today and we promise to work hand in hand and produce a global Kenyan. Our moving theme in this school has been excellent, dutiful, and faithful service. So we are ready to offer faithful service. We are ready to be dutiful. And our services will always be excellent. We welcome uh, the idea of our member of parliament, to make this school have modern classrooms and modern offices. If the program that he has started comes to fruition, I think we will even be attracting students from far and wide. Something that Kionyo has already started because we are boasting of the only school in this region who have students, which has students from Uganda, as far as Tanzania, and. Uh, uh, as far as coast, and this is actually a sub-county school. So if these infrastructural developments take place, we are seeing a beautiful, a beautiful school. Otherwise, thank you so much, and may God bless you. Songa <laughs> Karibu. Ni kapta wana kwa ofisi mkuu hapa. Uonekane. Eh, inaonekana ni